corner. Welcome to Wild Bill's Fight Night. We got Emina Abunifi representing Unit 2 Fitness and Extreme MMA in the red corner, and Aaron Johnson representing Knuckle Up in the blue. You gotta look at these guys, they look like they're really intense. Whoa! Oh, oh bring in the action. Another fast start. It's our fifth fight of the night. I tell you what, this is the final amateur fight of the night, but if this fight's anything like the other four amateur fights, they've been some of the best fights I've witnessed. Oh, oh good oh. Kick, Stiff low kicks, they're starting to add up. Hands up, hands up. What a now Aaron Johnson's got the experience. He's got two fights under his belt. talking about. Good takedown by Benifi. Good takedown. Let's see what these guys have on the ground now. Oh, and oh, he's, he's, he's tied, tied up. up. He's tied, tied up. up. In the rope ties. Oh, the ref's going to have a hard time with these two. Blake's going to earn his money tonight, I can tell. Blake's the best in the business. He's going to have his hands full in this yeah. fight. These guys are definitely amped up, Kevin. These guys are intense. Now, this is uh, Emeka's first fight. He's got a lot of intensity. He might get tired, you know, pushing his pace like yeah, this. Yeah, it's, it's if he has a hard time controlling himself, that's usually an indication that he will get tired. Oh, oh, big punch and miss. Oh, just ducked out of the way. Oh, he, he's relentless going after these takedowns, and he really needs to find a way to try to set it up. He's coming in with his head low now. He could eat a big upper pedal. Now, these amateurs can't knee to the face. Oh, that shows you his strength and power right there. Trying to take the back. Is that one hook? Oh, he's got two hooks. What's going he's got on him flattened down. Now he can't strike to the head he's now. Gonna, he might get this out of strength he's, alone. He's gonna get it. I think he's gonna get it. Unbelievable. He's fighting it off. Aaron Johnson doing a good job now fighting it off. He's not really defending it properly though. Oh, but he does escape. He does escape. I mean, he just still has, still has the top position. Now Aaron's gotta pick a spot to explode. He needs to explode now. Right when he feels those legs come undone. Emeka's got to be careful he doesn't get too high here. He's got to keep an over-under. Ride this back control out. He can take this round if he rides this out, get some big body shots in. Aaron looks like he's starting to fade a little bit here. He's really got to do something. He's going for that choke again. Ten seconds left. Like Abbott just got to just get busy for 10 seconds, score some points. Aaron's just content to hold on here and just wait it out. He's got a pretty good back ride, though. He's good with his hooks. This is an interesting fight here. Another very, very fast-paced fight. I tell you what, these pros have a lot to live up to after these uh, five amateur fights here. They've been pretty unbelievable. You got that right, Kevin. 
Now let's see what Emika's uh, got coming out of the corner. A lot of times in your first fight, it's hard to answer that bell. And that was a lot of energy he put out in that first round, too. Yeah, it absolutely was. Because he was constantly, you know, just bull rushing, bull rushing. Yeah, he came in with his head a little bit low. He's got to be careful with that. But he showed he's got the power and explosiveness. Absolutely. Once he got in, he was able to pretty much do whatever he wanted. These are your young and upcoming stars, everybody. Yeah. Considering that power, Aaron's really got to keep him away and keep working that low kick. Absolutely. He can take his legs out with that low kick and set up a big, a big punch. And like you said, he might have a, might have a good shot to land in the big uppercut with those bull rushes like that. He was coming in with his head down. All right, here we go, round two. I tell you what, the way Emeka controls so well from the back, you know, that might be his preference is that ground game. He might just want to get inside, use his power for the takedown, and work that control that we saw. Well, I tell you what, he's doing a good job of getting the fight there. Hard leg kick by Aaron Johnson. Let it go, let it go. Punch to the thigh there, that's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, the crowd's jacked up. They're seeing a lot. They're seeing hard kicks, big throws, big slams. I tell you what, Emeka, Emeka does bring a lot of intensity. Looking for an arm bar there, Aaron Johnson. Yeah, it's going to be tough, though. This guy's going to power his way out of a lot. He might have to use that for a setup for an escape here. He's getting a little slower with those kicks, son. Couple little jabs there. Yeah. Aaron's got to work that jab and keep his distance. Seems like Aaron's a little bit better on the strikes. Yeah, yeah. Emma can wow. definitely wants it on the ground. He's just got so too much. Strong. Yeah, he's got too much power for him. Aaron's really got to get his timing and footwork down. He's not going to match him power for power in that clinch. Let's see what he can do here in now he's done pretty good with the uh, sub attempts. He might have to look one. at there something different, one. like a. Uh, he might have to look for a triangle or a plata just for the escape factor. Yeah, Emma starting to try to pass here, and those ropes are kind of kind of holding him in there when he's yeah, trying to come around. Man. Yeah, they're complicating the issue a little bit for the top man. Ray might want to pull him into the center. Good okay, pass. Okay, good clean side mount now. We'll see what Emeka can do with the side now. He worked hard to get there. Now Aaron's doing a good job, though. Uh, throw it across oh, the uh, oh, former. Oh, oh, he might have this. This is going to be difficult. Emeka's getting his base. He's getting his base for the power. Knee bar. Knee bar by Aaron Johnson. Now it's tough to power your way out of that if Aaron can get a foot lock. Emeka stuffed it. This is some really good uh, movement by the bottom man. Like we said over and over again, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the skill of these amateurs. Oh, oh reversal by good Aaron reversal, good reversal. I was about to say, moving on bottom is not enough, though, in the judge's eyes. Those sub attempts aren't going to be enough. But a this, reversal. This is the first time we've seen uh, Aaron Johnson on top of him. Let's see what he can do here. Yeah, yeah, we don't know he's capable. We know his bottom game is good. He's looking to mount. Now he's, he's got to be careful he's, here. Oh, wow, he's, he, another reversal. He's against an explosive, powerful fighter. Mount it's usually not the Ten best seconds. thing. Ten seconds left in the round. Especially close to the end of the round against a strong fighter. It's usually yeah. advisable not to Emeka trying to steal the round. Yeah, Emek is taking this round. Yeah, wow. I, I Back think he did enough fight. to steal. Back and, and forth fight. And Jackson. the difference there was Aaron really lost that mount. He did. You're right. He, he earned the reversal, but he, he lost it. He lost it. Probably looking for a uh, submission from Mount. Can't really strike to the face. Mount's way overrated in fights, especially when you can't strike to the face. Good, good, good fight. I tell you what, I like the fact that uh, Emmerich is not sitting down, especially for a beginner fighter. I've had uh, I've had experience in that. I'm I'm a I'm a bigger guy, and uh, I actually sat down. During the later rounds of a fight, and it really made my legs hurt. So. It makes it tough. For those that don't know, James, super heavyweight, undefeated fighter. James, the black plate, Thorpe. 
Don't, don't, don't sit down in the corner. A don't. lot of trainers advise their fighters not to. It stops the blood flow, it allows the legs to cramp up. And a lot of guys, it just allows to get lazy. They have a hard time gearing back up. Absolutely. For those of you who've been from here from the beginning, this is the 20th fight they've had here at Wild Bills. Me and James fought on the first shows they had here. Alright, here we go. Round three. Wild Bills fight night. The crowd is really amped up. They're excited about this fight. Oh, another hard leg kick by Johnson. Another hard leg kick by Johnson. Oh, he's got to keep his distance, though. There. Oh, excellent. Johnson, Johnson hard, hard. Yeah. Speed. He's starting to get his range a little better now. He's starting to realize uh, Amica's power. It's all in the footwork. He's trying to find those angles. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's looking for them, for sure. Emmett is also very unorthodox, too, with the way that, that he postures and, and everything. Yeah, this is where that two-fight oh. experience Aaron's got may come into play. Yeah, it's starting to come into play. Might be another takedown here. He's pretty yeah. much been able to... Yeah, yeah now the was problem was Aaron did the wrong thing there. He basically he gave up that takedown. Looking for an arm bar, doesn't have it. Now he might, he might get this though. After. He's got to get his left leg in. Kind of a little reverse. Like this is the head scissors. That's, that's, that's don't, nothing. Don't underestimate the head scissors. Don't now, underestimate the head scissors. He's going to look scissors. the belly out and get up. Well, here he goes. He recovers guard. He really needs to go for another arm bar triangle. He's got to do something. He's probably down on the judges' cards. He was ahead in this round. He's really got to do something. He's got to. He's got to get up. Get real active. Emma's doing a good job of stalling Johnson out. He needs to now. If he can uh, just get through this round, he's probably going to win the fight. Absolutely. Aaron's got to get back up and use uh -huh. that stance. Stand up by Blake Grimes. Now, good job by Greg Blake because Emma was just stalling him out. Excellent job. And Blake, as a fighter, knows that. All right, here we go. Now let's let's see what these guys have. Aaron Johnson, I really believe, has to do something to try to win the fight. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'd be in his best interest to really try to finish. Yeah, he's probably going to need to finish or something strong. But giving oh, up nice. that takedown is the wrong mistake. That's out of fatigue right there. Absolutely. You never ever want to give that because so many judges just will give the, you know, the round to whoever's on top. Now, especially when you're winning the stand-up. I mean, if you're winning the stand-up, there's no reason to give the guy the ground. If you're fearful to knock out, you have a good chance. Bargain. Oh, that's in tight. He might have that's it. In deep. He might have it. That's in deep. Oh, oh that's real deep. That is. Wow. Oh, that's wow. real tight. If he can roll through and get to his back. And we just fighting it hard. If Emmett can circles around, he's going to escape, though. Aaron needs to oh. Oh, Second bell. He's got to finish this. Aaron really needs to roll him over and finish this. Wow. Wow. What an exciting finish. Yeah, excellent, fight. excellent fight. Great fight. I've, I've said it several times tonight. I'm so impressed with the amateurs, man. They're, Unbelievable. They're, they're fighting, their, fighting their butts off. This is the only card I can think of that every fight so far has been a great Absolutely. fight. Absolutely. Now, that's still going to be somewhat close. I think Emmerich is going to take that two rounds to one. But we'll have to wait for the judge's decision. You can see Emmerich's corner over here telling him to raise his arms neck like he won. Yeah, he needs to sell he was it. tired. He needs to sell it. He is very tired, and I did not blame him. Judges, judges are easily influenced, and right, right. now, Right now, they need to sell it. And, and those rounds are very, very close. You know what I mean? That could, that could be exactly what it boils down to. Yeah, it could in a close fight. I've seen it happen.
still trying to get this decision cleared up. Must, must be a close fight. It's like they're trying to tally up the, the scores here. Yeah, the judges are having a hard time with it. Aaron definitely wanted to stand up, but Epica got the takedowns when he needed them, and they were big takedowns. We got a lot of uh, celebrities in the fight world for the night of Wild Bill's fight night. We got, uh, I see Cedric Boswell, real good boxing uh, uh, prospect, ranked up high in the heavyweights. We got Brian Bowles, ranked up, I believe, I believe Brian's ranked uh, in the top 10 in the world. Yeah, like, Brian uh, is really, like 135 pounds, I think. He has really shot up the rankings and done phenomenal. He's fought some really high level talent we got and, and done phenomenal. He fought on several of these cards. We got, the, we got the NFC champion, Tom Wynn. While we're standing by for the decision, we want Tom to remind you that tonight we will have an after party at Wild Bills. Right after the fight's over, the fighters will stay behind, do meet and greets, and we will play music, compliments of DJ Dan. Yeah, we got a packed house here tonight. We just want everybody to These guys are really jacked up, too. All about having a good time. Everybody in the crowd at Wild Bills fight night. Looks like we're seconds away from the decision here. Usually when it takes this long, it means it's, it's, it's a close. Yeah, they had a hard time with it. They had a hard time. One guy wanted to stand up, the other one to ground, and the control. So it depends what they give weight to. I personally think it was two rounds to one for Emeka, but you know what? I mean, Aaron did really well, landing some enormous kicks, landing some good punches. I can definitely see it that way too. Very, very, very good fight. I mean, they, they both show good skills. Aaron's just got to work a little bit more on his takedown defense. All right, Wild Bills, let's hear it for both of these fighters. Had some action there. And that was your last amateur bout of the night. Again, it was scheduled for three three-minute rounds and it went the distance. The judges have scored it. Judge one, 29, 28, Bonafini. Judge two, 29, 28, Johnson. So we got a split decision.